Hey guys, we're on reserve today and we're hunting down saluas and gas analyzers as well as just doing kind of a standard loot run. I wanted to show how easy it is, come early wipe, for one map to have everything you need early wipe. The Iskra, the Morphine, the Croutons, Tashanka, USB, Gas Analyzers, Saluas. All of these items are needed in the early portion of the wipe and are the first big hurdle that a lot of players have. While we're also here, I am looking for loot to kind of refill my stockpile of rubles. I'm a little low right now, still trying to finish the Punisher quest line. The safes up here at Dome are some of the easiest money that you'll make in the game, especially if players haven't checked them. A lot of players just assume that they were already checked in the first three or four minutes of the raid. That's usually not the case in my experience. So far, this loot run is looking good, and SAS, a small diary, and a teapot is a great way to start out. A lot of times I hit that safe and there's just like a handful of rubles and not much else of value. I do also try to always hit these filing cabinets if I feel like I have time. Since I spawned up here, I have a few extra minutes before I expect any other PMCs up this way. VHS, another good find early on. So far, this run is looking to be extremely profitable, even if I were to just leave now. Sometimes I like going into Dome, sometimes I don't. I wasn't feeling Dome this time, so I decided to head down into the White Pawn, Black Pawn, and Black Bishop buildings. I really like these buildings. They have a very high density of filing cabinets and duffel bags. The filing cabinets are great because you can find gas analyzers in them, and then duffel bags have a pretty large item pool as well, including gas analyzers and saluas. One thing that I'm trying to be mindful of while I'm here is that these are entrances down into the bunker below. And that area can be extremely lethal if you are not ready for it. I don't really want to go down into the bunker. I'm just here to loot and try to avoid PMCs. I am kitted out to deal with PMCs, but I'd rather not. This med bag is actually where I found my first two Saluas of this wipe. So it's always worth it to check them. And I know I've talked about this in previous videos, but this room is great because it has that green weapon box. You can find melee weapons. I found a Red Rebel in there once. I found a Taiga 9 in there, one wipe. It just has a gigantic item pool and can be very, very helpful. While not a Red Rebel, it is still a melee item. So, you know, I always feel vindicated when I see melee items in there because that means that pool of items is available in there. From there, I always try to hit this back section of the second floor. There's a med bag and two medical spawn spots. You can find morphine, you can find the saluas. That's an area right there where morphine can be. I found saluas there before. This time I only found an IFAC, but it's still useful. From here we go up to the third floor where there's going to be a hole in the wall that leads to a black weapon box. This is another thing I always try to hit is weapon boxes. In this instance, it actually yielded a full box, which is always great, and it's a level 4 rig. Another really nice find. The downside to finding a rig is that if you already have a better rig or a backpack that's not big enough for it, you kind of got to just leave it there and it really sucks. I luckily have a big enough bag this time around, but that's not very common for me. From here we continue on into one of these side rooms that has filing cabinets. It's a pretty useful room since it's always unlocked, you don't need a key for it. And I've got this sped up just because going through filing cabinets is not all that exciting. That being said, I do find one of the items on my list. I find the gas analyzer. Early wipe, it's a godsend. Like, the second you find a single gas analyzer, you're usually like, okay, I need to get out with this now, otherwise I might die with it. I have found that if you stick around, you might be lucky enough to find that second one or the saluas that you need. The roof 
of black pawn is not as good as the roof of white pawn, but you can still find weapon attachments, magazines. I usually like to come up here to see if I can catch any PMCs that are trying to get into the tech room. Um, or I'll watch the road for some errant scabs, stuff like that. Back at ground level, I do try to check this technical crate. It's another area where you're gonna have the ability to find gas analyzers. Uh, this time around, it was looks like it's already been picked through. Um, I will try to also check the medical crate if I need Salua's. When I'm looking for sugar and stuff like that, I'll even hop up there and try to see if there's any in there. Well, it looks like the first crate was a bust. The second crate has a bit higher supply, and there's one of the Iskras. You need that for Jaeger quests. They're annoying to find when everyone is grabbing them. They're one of those items that once it's there, or once people have found them, they leave them. Here is a Salua spawn spot. This is a great area to find them because people will run by that and not even see it. Black Bishop has the most tech loot spawns, but it does also have some medical spawns that I've noticed people kind of miss. So I do try to hit this. I don't rush for this building because everyone rushes for it. And they're usually rushing to the drop down room because that's the room that has the GPU possible spawn. I usually wait until halfway through the raid before I come into this building. By then, all the PMCs are gone and I get kind of free reign to loot whatever I want that they left, which is usually quite a bit. One of the things I'm kind of skipping on this run is jackets. Early wipe, there's lots of jackets between all three of these buildings, so it's a great way to start building your key collection that you're going to need throughout the next wipe. I actually like reserve better than customs for key hunting for the simple fact that it's less populated of key hunters. Second floor has a ton of duffel bags as well as a bunch of loose computers. I've noticed people don't actually hit these computers that often. They just seem so dead set on getting to the drop down room and then leaving the building without checking anything else. While looting this building, I do try to use the windows to my advantage and stay aware of what's going on outside. You can find Salua's, Afax, Ifax, where that CMS kit is. It's a spawn location for medical stuff. So I completely missed this here. There's a scab at the end of the hallway, and I catch it like right as I'm going through here out of the corner of my eye, and it scares me. You can actually see me jump on my initial shot. For the most part, the rooms on this floor and this side of the building are going to have weapon attachments. There's some weapon boxes, grenade boxes, one or two filing cabinets. But really the biggest boon is that second floor drop down room. Usually, after the first or second week of the wipe, you can find gas analyzers in there and people will just leave them because they don't need them anymore. I decided to switch to my shotgun since we were indoors. Usually I like having a longer range weapon while I am on reserve because I like hanging out in the corners of the map and shooting from a distance. But inside a shotgun is much better.
I know Magnum Buck is supposed to be better. I like Flechette. Magnum Buck, from what I understand, is better if you're doing leg meta or aiming straight at the head because the pellets have a higher chance to kill. The rooms on this side of the building do have medical spawns. Here's a second Salua for this one run. If this was beginning of the wipe, I'm two-thirds done with the quest in a single raid, and that feels pretty good as long as I can extract with them. For this run, I actually have the equipment to use the Red Rebel Extract. I will put out a video that's more of kind of a rat run or a pistol run, where it's just a rig and a pistol, and then taking the manhole exit, because that's going to be your easiest exit, unless you want to stick around for the entire raid and wait for the train. I don't really recommend the D2 Extract early wipe, it's a breeding ground for rats and extract campers. That scav has a new Shanka, which I actually need for the Dress to Kill quest from Ragman. Um, if you really are like looking long term for saving items, hold on to two Tashankas and two Cowboy Hats. You need them for Dress to Kill. I don't really think you should hold on to them from early wipe into the mid wipe when that quest is, just because each of those items is four slots in your stash. I do recommend, however, holding on to any injectors you have that are the harder to find ones. Adolbos, Melodonin, stuff like that, because they're needed for the samples quest by Peacekeeper, and those are some of the hardest items to find if you don't make regular runs into labs or have the medical key in interchange. So after finishing up that building, I usually like to try and check White Bishop. Usually it's gone through this late into a raid, but there's always a chance. Someone left a splint there, or they just didn't pick it up. Um, in that spot, you can find any other medical spawn. And there's a few other spots where you can find Augmentin, which you need for different crafts in the hideout, stuff like that in this building, as well as a duffel bag, and one or two cheeky spots to just kind of hang out if you like that rat plate style. You can hang out here and ambush PMCs that are not suspecting you. I usually save this building as one of the last ones that I'm willing to hit, mostly because I actually find it to be a creepier building than the other buildings. It seems a lot darker, there's access straight into the basement where you have the bunker entrance, it's, it always just kind of gives me the heebie-jeebies. This room is great for medical supplies. I found morphine on the shelves. I found tramadol. I found the melodonin. I found Saluas, Aphax, Ifax. It's a great room for it. This room I've found Ifax before. I'm not sure if Saluas spawn in here as well though. Anytime I hear a door breached, it worries me some. I don't know where all the breachable doors are, so I know there's someone near me. I don't know where they are. I decide that with how much loot I have, I'm just going to go ahead and get out. As I'm leaving, I'm trying to be mindful of windows from both White Bishop and White King. I decide that I'm going to basically go through the building, hit into the open field in the back, and take the back route up to the extract here, because that's going to give me the least chance of running into other PMCs. And with that run, I made around four to 500,000 rubles. 
but the more important thing is I found a gas analyzer and two saloons. So come wipe, I now have a route that I'm going to use that has a high chance of getting those quests done early. If you guys have any particular maps you'd want to see me do a run through of and kind of break down where I find items, let me know in the comments down below. Hit the like button and subscribe for more content. Hopefully the wipe is soon. I cannot wait to start this bolt action only wipe. Thanks guys.